Well, it's back on the figure today. Uh, let's get busy on this guy. Today I'm going to work on his shirt and try to work out the uh, sleeve of his uh, shirt, uh, his hands, or his hand. Um, not sure what I'm going to have in his hand, if he's going to have anything at all. Um, if I put anything in his hand, it might detract. So, just need to work out the uh, hairstyle for this gentleman. Go from there. All right, I've gotten enough inspiration from the book, and uh, now it's time for me just to start working. Okay, uh, somebody was trying to uh, make braids for a sculpture they were doing, and I just want to show how I do it. I just uh, take the, uh, I, I kind of roll the clay until it's about the size that I want, and then I just uh, start braiding it. You got to be very gentle with it though, because the clay will 
have a tendency to want to break on you. Just to, where a gentle touch is what is needed. And uh, right now these are looking a little bit big. Let me just see what it looks like once I get it done. And the reason I stick it on the arm is because it's just easier to work uh, away from the head rather than doing it on the head. Then you can add it to the head after you're done. All right, I've put the hair on and I've got the three uh, pieces of hair coming out in different directions. That gives me kind of a guide on as to how I'm going to uh, construct the hair. Like this is the uh, one going down and into the uh, beginning of the braid. So that will be the predominant bit of hair. I'm not certain I'm going to even use braids, but I'm just trying to show you what I would do. Um, and this, this one here is the next largest. And what I would do is uh, take it to the middle of the hair, like that. And this is where it ties up tightly behind the, the head. And the same with the, the one the one in the front too. And the uh, one in the middle is the one that goes underneath the other two, so it would disappear underneath it and wouldn't be as prominent. This is part of that top tier of uh, hair, and it just it just shapes the hair a little bit uh, on the head itself. And it looks just a little bit more believable. And this is kind of a view from the front. I, I'm not certain I'm going to keep that uh, like that. As you can see, I've got the war shirt started. I've got the uh, sleeve of the shirt. Uh, tomorrow, I'll start putting fringe on the shirt itself. Um, not sure if I'm going to make him a uh, hair shirt or just a just a shirt with a uh, hair. Uh, Leather fringe, I'm going to cut. I'll decide that tonight. Well, I think that's going to do it for today. Um, I think uh, I'm going to have to do some more research in the hair styles. I'm not happy with this one. The reason I'm taking so long on this piece is because it's got to look just right, and the hair is a very important part of it. And um, I just feel like I need a little more research before I can settle on one hairstyle.